Cosmetology State Board Demonstration of Client 2, including hair removal and manicure and polish application, is a Cosmo Ready video production. The proctor will read the following instructions. You will perform chemical waving. You will wrap the entire back center section of the head from crown to nape. Once you are finished wrapping, please step back and do nothing until the next verbal instructions are given. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 20 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have 10 minutes remaining. Do not perform the saturation procedure, a test curl, or remove a rod until instructed individually by the examiner to do so. Do not remove the remaining rods until you are instructed to do so. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Make sure that you step forward and sanitize your hands before reaching for any of your supplies or touching your client. You will begin with a thorough scalp exam as discussed in our textbook review. So parting the hair, looking at the scalp, you wanna look at every inch of the scalp when you do this. After you've completed the scalp exam, you're going to do a porosity test. Porosity test determines the resistance of the cuticle then an elasticity test where we're going to stretch the hair and check the integrity of the cortex. After you've done your scalp exam, porosity and elasticity tests, you're going to begin to section out the area that you're going to place your rods in. Here you can see the back panel where the rods are going to fit is just under the length of the rods. Then you may begin placing your rods. You pull out your end papers. Remember any supplies that you pull out and use during the demonstration will be thrown in the garbage if they are disposable at the end of this service. So with all those end papers I have, Whatever's left will go into the garbage in the end. Measure for the correct diameter of the perm rod that you're using. Comb the hair smoothly. Make sure your parts are clean. And the best perm wrap would be the double end paper wrap. Book ends can bunch the ends of the hair too much. And the cushion wrap might leave some frayed ends as well. So again, measure according to the diameter of your rod. And when you place the end papers, remember to wind the rod around the paper before you get to the ends of the hair. So here you can see I have a large enough space between the end of the end papers. I'm gonna wind that first before the hair goes into the rod. That's gonna prevent fish hooks. Continue wrapping down the back panel. Once you are done wrapping the back panel, prepare to apply your waving solution. So wrap cotton around the area. You do not need protective cream, but you could use that as well. And then keep one piece of cotton out to the side. You're gonna use that in a little bit. Step back to indicate you have finished. Wait 
until the examiner comes over to you and asks you to please demonstrate saturation. At this point again, you step toward the mannequin, put on your gloves. Now I should have a towel over the plastic cape, so that is my mistake for this one. There should be a towel there, so please make sure you add that to your setup. After your gloves are on, you will demonstrate saturation of your perm rods. Apply the solution, the full length of your rod, to the top and bottom of each rod. Notice I'm holding a piece of cotton in my one hand. That is going to be to blot the scalp if any perm wave solution drips on to the client's scalp. So see I'm blotting to prevent chemical burns. So work your way down that whole panel, thorough saturation without excess dripping. Go in and blot when needed. Next, the examiner will tell you to demonstrate a test curl. You're going to unwind your rod one and a half times, secure your thumbs on the rod, and just rotate back. And we'll take a closer look at that on another rod here. So again, unwind your rod one and a half times, Secure your thumb so the hair doesn't come off and just turn it a half a turn back and you'll see the S shaping. Next, the examiner will ask you to remove one rod from the hair. This is where they're gonna look to see if you have any fish hooks. So slowly unwrap a rod with the end paper so that they can see the ends of the hair. You dispose of that and then you will just wait until the next verbal instructions are given. The proctor will read the last set of instructions. All examiners have indicated they are ready to proceed. You will remove all remaining rods from the head and create five sections for the remaining chemical services. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety and infection control procedures. You will have five minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have two minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. As you begin to remove the perm rods, make sure that you put your end papers in the trash and put your tools, such as your perm rods or combs, in your items to be disinfected bag. You want to make sure that you're putting them in the proper place. You could remove your gloves at this time as there's no chemicals on the hair. However, I chose to leave mine on, but you can still sanitize your gloves. From here, you're going to leave the chemical draping on your client and just start sectioning into the five sections as indicated. It'll be one section at the top of the head, one on either side, and then two sections down the back.
here I am reaching for an additional terry cloth towel to put over my chemical draping and again I should have had this on during my perm wave service but since I forgot it there I will make sure to add it here for the next chemical services. When you are done step back to indicate you have finished. The proctor will read the following instructions. You will perform the predisposition test and strand test for permanent hair color. You will demonstrate the predisposition test behind the ear. You will demonstrate the strand test process on any single subsection of hair. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have 5 minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Step forward to sanitize your hands. Since this is the same client as we used from our chemical waving section, you may still have your gloves on and that's fine. You can sanitize your gloves. Also, keep the drape on. You don't have to redrape. As you're setting up your supplies, make sure that you have them laid out for both the strand test and the patch test. Remember, when you're done setting up your supplies, the supply bag goes in the trash and you make sure to sanitize your hands again. We're gonna start with the patch test which is going to be located behind the ear. So you want to get your cleanser on a cotton pad and cleanse behind the ear. When you apply the cleanser, make sure that you also wipe it off. And then always sanitize. Next, we're going to take our simulated color product, which is hair gel but it's labeled as color product. We're gonna take a cotton swab and just take a very small amount of the product and we're gonna place it behind the ear. You will leave that little color patch on the mannequin. Do not remove that. Remember, patch tests have to cure for 24 to 48 hours to see if there's a reaction. So while that's starting to process, we're gonna move into our strand test. For that, you're gonna need foil. We're gonna section a top piece of the back section. Get our foil ready, and we're gonna take a close up here. So here you can see we're setting up as if we're gonna do a foil application but we're just gonna lay the color product over the hair. We're not going to fold up the foil. So take your simulated color product and we're going to apply it to the section. And then it would need to process. We're not gonna wait for any simulated processing time. Just make sure that you have a good application on. Once you're done applying the product, Make sure you put your tools in your items to be disinfected bag and sanitize your hands again before you come back to the client. Next, we're going to remove our color product. So make sure you have a paper towel. You're gonna to take your spray bottle and we're gonna to have to wet down our simulated product and then wipe it from the hair. So. You may have to wipe a few times, so make sure that you get all of that product off the hair. That's what the examiners are going to be looking for. And make sure that it's dry, so you need to spray, wipe, and dry the hair with the paper towel. Now that's just one paper towel. I'm going to actually take another one and make sure that I've removed all of the product.
are all done removing the color product, make sure to clean up all of the supplies from that task by putting everything you haven't used in the trash or your to be disinfected bag. Step back to indicate you have finished. The proctor will read the following instructions. You will perform highlighting with foil, virgin application. You will place four foils on top of the head from the hairline to the apex. You will apply simulated highlighting product from upper edge of foils to hair ends. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 15 minutes to complete this task. You will be informed when you have eight minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. So you'll begin to set up your highlighting supplies. And when you do this, one of the things to consider is making your foils easy to grab. So setting them up and separating them right away is a good idea. Remember that once your supplies are all set up, your supply bag should go in the trash before you get started with your service. So we are gonna start here by putting our hair lightener in the bowl. I'm using a spatula to remove that and then putting the lid back on what I'm not using and that can just stay right at your station. Something else to consider is when you are applying your product that you have it set up in the right position for you. So move any items around so that it's going to be easier for you to apply your foils. And then we're sectioning in the front at the hairline and we'll work back toward the apex. weaving out our section that's going to be placed into the foil and when I grab my foil I'm going to fold my edge under and that's going to help me put my comb in there and slide it right nice and tight under that strand that I just weaved out. Apply product to the hair, make sure it's secure and then place your hand under it so you can apply it to the rest of the strand. Sure you have plenty of product on there but not so much that it's going to leak out so when you fold your foil make sure that the edge folds all the way up to the top and it's even and then when you lift it that little flap you can use to tighten that foil down crease with your comb to tuck your sides in and you have one foil done now if you notice that there's product leaking out of your foil and you don't have supplies out, sanitize your hands before you go into your universal kit. Get a piece of cotton and then you can remove it from that foil, which is what I'll be doing here. So I have my cotton. I'm going to clean up the little bit of product that's there. And then that goes in the garbage. Hands get sanitized and we move on. Continue until all four foils are in. Here I am on the last foil. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of clipping the one section that's a little bouncy out of the way into the previous foil without disturbing its placement. And then weaving out 
and adding that little bit of hair to the clip to stay out of my way while I finish up. Now that my foils are complete, I'm going to take a look and just make sure that there's nothing leaking. And I'm also going to move the hair and the foils out of my client's face. And by doing that, I'm not disturbing the foils and I'm just moving her hair to the sides. you are all done you're gonna clean up all your supplies anything disposable would go in the trash tools and implements would go in your to be disinfected bag when you're all done step back to indicate you have finished the proctor will read the following instructions you will perform a hair color retouch application you will apply simulated hair color product to one section of the back of the head. The client has one inch of regrowth. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. to sanitize as you step toward your client and proceed to set up your hair color retouch supplies. Your supply bag should be put in the trash when you are done setting up. As you get comfortable and ready to apply your product, if you have to move the mannequin, make sure that the chemical drape is intact before you start working. Here, we're applying the protective cream, so use a spatula to remove the product from the container and then put that cover back on. And when you apply the protective cream, you do not need to wear gloves. It is not a chemical that requires gloves, so you don't need your gloves on while you're putting the protective cream on. Keep it on the skin area and off of the hair. You don't want any protective cream on the hair. Dispose of your spatula. Re-sanitize your hands. Now, we're gonna get ready to put the product on, so make sure that sanitizer is worked in thoroughly before you go to put your gloves on. Now we're getting ready to put our product into our tint bowl. So if you're removing product from a container again, you need a spatula. Make sure you replace the lid on your hair color when you're done. As you get ready to apply your color, remember you have one inch of regrowth that you're simulating and you're going to apply to the outside of your section. So outline the entire section that you're going to be coloring for this part of your exam. Now you'll apply to the whole panel. So take quarter inch subsections 
and apply your product to one inch of regrowth. Make sure the color product goes all the way down to the scalp. Hair color can be on the scalp. Chemical relaxer cannot be on the scalp. So for this, make sure that that product is all the way to the scalp. And continue working down your panel, applying product to the top and bottom of each little subsection. After you're done applying the color, go through and pull each little subsection down and check the scalp as you're going. Make sure that you have a thorough application of product. You may wish to take vertical parts to double check, but do not scrape the tail of your brush across the scalp when you're cross checking. Dispose of your remaining product sanitize your hands and step back to indicate you have finished. The proctor will read the following instructions. You will perform a virgin hair relaxer application. You will apply simulated relaxer product to a single subsection of hair. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will be instructed individually by the examiner to demonstrate a virgin hair relaxer application. This is an untimed section. Do not begin to demonstrate the virgin relaxer application until instructed individually by the examiner to do so. The instructions will be repeated. The examiner will come over and ask you to please demonstrate the virgin relaxer application procedure. At that point, you'll step forward and sanitize your hands. This is the section we're going to demonstrate our strand on. But you need to make sure that you apply protective cream to the hairline and nape area of that section before you begin the procedure. So now I've applied my protective cream. We're going to take the top triangle section. Now with the relaxer, we're doing a virgin application, which means we are going to apply to the cold strand. So we're going to stay about an inch off the scalp. We're going to apply to the top and underneath side of this section, and we are not going to apply it to the hair ends. So you leave the scalp and the ends free of product to begin with cold strand is not on the scalp or the ends. Now once you've applied there, you can apply your product closer to the scalp and to the ends, but you will not touch the scalp. Even with smoothing with a relaxer, you cannot touch the scalp. So you can use the back of your comb, which I'm using here. And I apologize, it's a little hard to see. And now you could also smooth with your fingers. When you are smoothing and product comes off the hair, lay it back down on your subsection. Don't just keep it on the comb. So as we're working here, I'm wiping the product back on to the hair. Here is the finished subsection. When you are done, dispose of all your supplies, sanitize your hands, and step back to indicate you have finished. The proctor will read the following instructions. You will demonstrate the blood exposure procedure. You will imagine the following scenario. During a service, you have sustained a minor cut to your index finger. The injury is such that you can continue with the service. Your work area or client has not been contaminated. 
You are expected to demonstrate the proper procedure for blood exposure. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 10 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have five minutes remaining. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. Step forward to sanitize your hands. And what you're gonna do first is on your index finger where the injury occurred, you're gonna wrap that with some paper towel so that you can go in into your universal supplies, gather your first aid kit, and pull out your supplies from the first aid kit. I'm throwing that in the trash so I still have to sanitize my hands. Now I'm going to set up the zipped bag that I'm going to put all of my single use items in through this blood exposure procedure. I'll put my paper towel in there and then I'm going to apply antiseptic to my index finger. I would suggest that you use the injured finger from your non-dominant hand. And then I'm gonna keep that cotton pad on while I get my Band-Aid out of my first aid kit. Make sure the first aid kit is closed tightly. The cotton pad in your zipper bag. The wrapper from your Band-Aid. Wrap your finger up. And then at this point, you're going to zip this bag closed. And when you put this bag into your trash, that will be double bagged. Now, according to NIC standards, you should put a glove on your hands. You are now going to disinfect your work area, including removing your tools to be disinfected. So we're going to gather our supplies and put them in our to be disinfected bag. Anything that you have out at your station. And again, I'm sanitizing when I come back from either of those bags. And this is on the handout supplied by NIC. So all of these items are to be disinfected. Sanitize any other items that go in the trash. The towel goes to soiled linens. And then we disinfect our workspace. So you're going to take your paper towel and your spray disinfectant and wipe down your work area. According to the NIC worksheet, this is when you are done with this skill. We'll sanitize one more time and step back to indicate we have finished. The proctor will read the following instructions. You have two minutes to set up the supplies for the hair removal of the eyebrows by tweezing using simulated soft wax section of this examination. Please do not begin any procedures until the verbal instructions have been read and you are instructed to begin. Step back to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. You may begin. During this two minute time, you will set up your supplies and drape your mannequin with a drape over the neck and shoulders and draping the hair. You will perform hair removal of the eyebrow by tweezing and using simulated soft wax. You will demonstrate hair removal from one eyebrow by tweezing. You will demonstrate hair removal from the other eyebrow using simulated soft wax. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will be instructed individually by the examiner 
to demonstrate the tweezing and soft wax procedures. This is an untimed section. Do not begin to demonstrate the tweezing and soft wax procedures until instructed individually by the examiner to do so. The instructions will be repeated. When the examiner comes over to you, you will step toward your station and sanitize your hands before reaching for your gloves. Anytime you step back to the client, you have to sanitize your hands. Sometimes sanitizer can make it difficult to put on your gloves, so be aware of that and work it in really well before you put the gloves on. After you get your gloves on, you will apply antiseptic to the eyebrow area. In this case, I need to get my antiseptic out of my universal supply box. Anytime you go into your universal supply box, you have to sanitize your hands first. Taking a cotton pad, spray your antiseptic onto the cotton pad away from your client. And sanitize every time you come back from the trash. With my tweezers and my cotton. And I'm going to stretch the skin and remove individual hairs in the direction of growth. It's good to do three, four, or five so that they can see that. Putting my tweezers to be disinfected and my cotton in the garbage. Now if you notice you're running low on cotton pads, you can actually tear them in half and that way it'll extend your cotton and you won't have to go back into your universal kit. You're going to wipe with antiseptic and you are done with tweezing. Now you'll go right into hair removal with simulated soft wax. First step Use antiseptic on the area. After we apply the antiseptic, we have to dry the area. So the way that you're going to dry it is by using another dry cotton pad. And I did that again. I tore that so I had extra cotton. Now we need to test the wax on ourselves prior to putting it on the client. Test on your inner wrist and remove what you tested with one of your little strips and that goes into the trash. Now we'll apply the wax to the client. Use very little wax. This is Vaseline, so you don't need a lot. You can apply your wax under the eyebrow or over the eyebrow, but it will be the full length of the eyebrow. Now you apply your strip and you will remove in the opposite direction. Stretch the skin and remove your strip. You can put pressure down, but that is not anything that you're graded on at State Board. Making sure you sanitize your hands every time you come back to the client will be graded. When you're done waxing, you'll apply more antiseptic. You close up your wax.
after the antiseptic is your post epilation product. In this case, it would be like a cooling gel, so make sure that you have it labeled appropriately. Apply your cooling gel to the area, and then you're going to clean up your work area. Remove any supplies that you have not used. Anything that's sitting out should be thrown into the garbage. So in this case, I take my little wax and I put it in the to be disinfected bag. Everything else is in the trash. Step back to indicate you have finished. The proctor will read the setup directions and you will have two minutes to set up your supplies. Then the proctor will read the instructions. You will perform a manicure and polish application. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have 20 minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have 10 minutes remaining. Turn the hand toward the examiner to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. When the proctor indicates you may begin, you will sanitize both your hands and the manicure hand that you'll be using. Fill your manicure bowl with water, and then you will begin to file the nails. Remember to file from corner to center keeping all nails a uniform length. There will be no seesawing, even though you have artificial nails on the hand, you must file in one direction only, so corner to center would be the recommended method. Complete filing of all five nails. All the nails are filed, you will immerse all fingernails in the bowl of water. To do so, you will have to bend the fingers a little bit, but you do not need to let this soak. You're just going to rock the hand until all nails have water on them. When you remove that, you're going to dry them and you're going to apply the cuticle softener or cuticle remover. Anytime you throw something in the garbage, you must sanitize your hands. So when you apply the cuticle softener or cuticle remover, you want to make sure that you do not touch the bottle to the nail itself. So you have to keep a distance, a gap between the bottle and the client's nails. When you are done applying the cuticle remover or softener, you must close the bottle. So all bottles must be closed after you are done using them. You take your plastic pusher and begin working the cuticle. Push back cuticles on all nails. Then you will follow up by cleaning under the free edge. Getting ready to clean under the free edge, you'll need to get some cotton out. Please sanitize your hands before reaching into your supply box for your cotton or leave out as many cotton rounds as you'll need. So what you'll need to do is wrap cotton around the end of an orange wood stick and then you're going to gently clean under the nails. After you are done cleaning under the nails, you will then go ahead and use the nail brush and cleanse the nails. So as you do the nail brushing, work in a downward stroke where you're going from cuticle to free edge. And when you are done brushing each nail, you will then wipe off the nails.
Next, you're going to apply cuticle oil and buff the nails. Again, when applying the cuticle oil, make sure there is a gap between the bottle and the nail so that you're not touching the bottle on the client's skin. Once the cuticle oil is applied, make sure that bottle is closed and then you can reach for your three or four way buffer. Either one is acceptable and you will do this to all of the nails. After you are done buffing the nails, you're going to apply your lotion and perform the massage movements. According to NIC standards, you must perform massage on the fingers, top and palm of the hand, demonstrating at least two different types of massage movements. So here we have effleurage. We can do friction on the palm. You can also do rotations of the fingers. Another massage movement that you can do. And then you can do another friction movement on the wrist. And end with effleurage again. So you just need to touch on two massage movements and once again before reaching for the cotton to clean off the nails please sanitize your hands before doing so or keep enough cotton out during your service. To get the massage product off of the nails you can apply either alcohol or polish remover and you do that to each nail. After the massage and cleansing the nail plates with alcohol or polish remover, you're going to apply polish. This can be a little difficult after the massage, so you may have to hand sanitize a couple times and use a paper towel to wipe off any massage product. When it comes to applying the polish, you will apply a base coat and two coats of color followed by a top coat. Something to keep in mind when you're applying the base coat is to brace and you'll do that by resting your pinky on your hand and then applying the polish. It helps stabilize the client's hand and your application. Done with each phase of the polish, again, make sure that your bottles are closed. When you apply the color, it must be red, and it's suggested that you apply thin coats of polish since you're not going to have time to dry in between. So applying evenly and neatly a thin coat of red polish, and then you'll apply your second coat of red polish.
I will speed up the video a little bit during this polish application, but you will see the full polish, two coats of color and the top coat yet. you're done with your polish you're going to put a little cotton on the end of an orange wood stick or on the end of your pusher put some polish remover on and clean up around the nails even if you do not need to clean up around the polished area please simulate this as it shows that you are being thorough in your application When you are all done with the polish application, you will turn the hand around for the examiner to look at it. They will observe the final appearance of the polish to see if it is smooth and even. The nail plate is entirely covered with red polish and that cuticle and surrounding skin are free from polish and free of injury. After this, the proctor will read the next set of directions. All examiners have indicated they are ready to proceed with the examination. You will remove the polish from all nails and properly dispose of supplies used in the previous sections of the examination. You will be expected to follow all client protection, safety, and infection control procedures. You will have five minutes to complete this section. You will be informed when you have two minutes remaining. Turn the hand toward the examiner to indicate you have finished. The instructions will be repeated. Once they are repeated, and you hear the words, you may begin, you will begin your cleanup. Again, always begin by sanitizing your hands. Then you will take paper towel and place it in your manicure bowl to soak up the water. You wanna do this first so that there's plenty of time for the water to absorb while you remove the polish from the nails. When you are done removing the polish, you will turn your hand back around for the examiner to see. only five minutes to complete this part of the task. You don't wanna rush through and not remove all of the polish properly. So make sure that you hold your cotton pad on the finger long enough so that the nail polish is able to be dissolved. 
don't rush. Working slowly and efficiently will get the job done in the right amount of time. After removal of all the nail polish, you will then discard the wet paper towel into the garbage. You will clean up your other items and put them in the to be disinfected bag. finish cleaning up your table, remember to turn the hand around to face the examiner when you are all finished. Cosmetology State Board demonstration of Client 2, including hair removal and manicure and polish application, is a Cosmo Ready video production.